Hey everyone, Pastor Mike here, New Life Church. I've got a question for you. How are you doing? How are you doing? And what are you doing that's helping you through these crazy uh, COVID days? I hope that you'll take a moment and post below, just in a word or a phrase, how is it that you're doing? Uh, what's a, a word or a phrase that would describe you? And then what is it that you're doing to help you through this season of time? I'm in the sanctuary. Uh, with a couple of my uh, close personal friends who have sent a picture. Uh, I love this uh, because uh, it was an unexpected blessing happening to me. I miss seeing you all so much. And um, one morning on Sunday morning, I, I came in and I was surprised to see uh, all of these faces just, um, smiling back at me. And, and it really did my heart, heart good. So um, I've been also listening to a lot of folks and answering that question, how are you doing? And that's a question I'm glad has become a part of our regular vocabulary. I've heard a lot of people asking it to each other, and some people have said, you know, I'm so tired of hearing that question. But the reality is, uh, we care. And so let's keep asking that question, how are you doing? I've heard many people uh, respond with things like, uh, I'm anxious, or um, I'm and feel surreal or I feel inadequate in order to um, go through this time or I feel numb or um, I feel so many different things and as I've listened as I've heard um, many of those responses are very normal feelings to uh, experience we are going through a crisis this is a very very unusual time and many of us are picking up different skills uh, and having to do different things in different ways and feeling ill-equipped. And so we're, we're disoriented, we're out of our patterns and, and life just isn't going how we thought it was gonna be going along. And so if you're feeling any of these emotions, let me just give a moment of encouragement here to say it's normal and it's understood. Uh, any person going through a crisis situation would respond in these ways. Well, the next question was a question of how are you coping? How are you making it through? So I wonder if you just post some of the things below that help you through it. I've heard some people say, I've been doing more baking, or I've been doing more exercise, or I've been spending some time on Facebook, or I, uh, all different great ways of, of going about this time. One of the things that has helped me is uh, a little bit more exercise and um, making sure I'm getting some Jesus nuggets, finding different ways that I, I can grow in my faith and uh, keep my eyes on the, on the right thing during this storm. And then uh, another is just jokes. I, I love uh, those jokes that come out to give humor. And I do find myself on Facebook a little bit more. And um, I wanna encourage you that um, if you would like to be uh, friends on Facebook, reach out and uh, Michael Maxwell, and uh, I will not reject any, any friend a request, but I try not to put myself out there to you so that you don't feel bad about um, saying no to me. So uh, if you would like to uh, reach out, I'd love to be Facebook friends and to be able to connect. That's one thing I hope that we keep doing. Keep connecting with others during this time because that helps give us perspective, helps us um, understand we are not alone, we are not isolated, uh, but let's remain socially connected to one another and Facebook is one of those ways that we can do that. Well, anyway, uh, I am praying for you. Thank you for your prayers for me. We will make it through this together. Uh, be of good encouragement to one another and uh, recognize these days are tough and we just need to give each other a little bit more grace. And uh, we will come through this together. I used the analogy earlier uh, with some friends when we were talking about going through difficult times and I likened it to running up a hill. Often when runners are running down a hill, they look out because things are great and they can see how far they have come and how far they have to go. But often when runners come to a, a tough part in the, the um, race, when they're kind of going uphill, my eyes tend to go towards my feet and I just take one step at a time. So I hope that um, if you're feeling like this is a season of life where you are kind of running uphill, just take it one step at a time. Take what's next and make that next right step, and then we'll wind up where we need to be when this is all over. Anyway, love you guys, praying for you guys. Look forward to seeing you on uh, Sunday at 1045 a.m. 
Make sure if you have young kids to, to check in at 10 a.m. with uh, Ashley Pride, our family ministry director. And until then, have a great rest of the week. God bless.